So uh, the next topic is the International Math Olympiad, which you participated in. Mm -hmm. Can you brief us by telling us what exactly it is? Okay, so um, starting off with International Math Olympiad, one of the best times of my life up to now, I'd say. Um, well, okay, so to, to people who don't know, it's basically an Olympiad which is held internationally, just as, you know, uh, uh, these sports Olympiads, you know, they, they happen every, after every four years or six years, I guess. But these Olympiad, science Olympiad happen every year in a different country, just as, you know, the Cricket World Cup or something like that. They, they happen every year in a different country. Each country sends their team to represent that country. And each team is, has around six people. And they, they, they go to the host country. They stay there for around, I think, 10 days, 10 to 11 days. Three days, they, they appear in the exam. It's an it's a, it's a exam. It's like, uh, but it's very fun. It's like not, you know, uh, the math, the kind of math, not the kind of math we study in our OA levels. It's, you know, critical thinking, problem solving math where you're presented with real world scenarios and you have to decode it according to your uh, information, your, according to your um, knowledge about math. So it's not like very high level. It, you're not it's even expected to know calculus. Exactly. Yeah. So you, it's it's mostly based on critical thinking. Yeah. So like HEC selects the team, Higher Education Commission of Pakistan, that selects the team for the International Math Olympiad, the six people who are supposed to represent Pakistan on the in the International Math Olympiad. And mostly all of mostly all of the countries take part in international math Olympiad. Uh, most uh, importantly, USA and China, those are the two countries which you know win the Olympiad if you say uh, most often. Then if I if I talk about the selection team, uh, I've told that there are six people. HEC selects the team. Um, the the procedure for that is there there's a thing called National Science Talent Contest. Okay. NSTC. You can huh. Google that. So what it does is it basically conducts a test in three major cities. I think it has expanded the test to a lot of other cities as well. But at, at my time, it was like three major cities, Karachi, Islamabad, Lahore. And I guess Quetta, I remember exactly. What happens is basically you register for NSTC. Okay, you, you appear for the test. It's a very simple test. It's for it's for four different subjects: math, physics, chemistry, and biology. So like it's up to you which subject you wanna you would wanna opt. So I opted for math. I gave the math test. It was solely based on O level math, as far as I remember. But it was a lot trickier. So it was tricky. It it wanted you to you know solve questions very critically rather than putting up the formula. So no, no need, no need to remember any formula or anything. Just you know, uh, if you if you're if you're good at logic, if you're good at logic, yeah, I think it'd be it'd be easy for you. After that, what happens is you get selected into top fifty. They select top fifty people from all over Pakistan. Uh, on based on this test, and then you you have a camp in Lahore, I guess. Um, for for maths, it's in Lahore. For biology, I guess, it's in Karachi. And I don't know, for physics, it's maybe in Islamabad. Um, Piaz, if I if I remember correctly. And I don't know about chemistry. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, like, my camp of top 50 was in Lahore. It was fully funded. I went to Lahore from here, um, from Karachi. I flew with a friend of mine who is also from the same college. And then I also met uh, one more, uh, well, there were like, when I talk about math, there were like only seven girls out of 50. Yeah, so you're so, the lucky one. Yeah, so like, I mean, yeah, more girls need to choose math. Come on, guys. <laughs> Experience. I, I got to learn a lot of things. There were classes on four major things, which was, I think, geometry. One thing I, I, I really liked, Geometry was one of my best sub-subjects when I talk about math. Yeah, so the camp is basically training camp. So like, okay. they train you and then they 
they they give you an exam to solve and then they select students on the basis of that and that this process repeats three times until they get on to the last six people oh so there is this multiple uh, series of tests that you have to give to get to the final stage yeah. okay yeah and the final stage is the international test which is and, you know so, uh, at a single time all over the world and where is that uh, held Okay, so about that, about the international math Olympiad, actual in in when I was uh when I was a part of team, it was in Russia, but unfortunately there was COVID around, and we couldn't go to Russia because there was COVID around, and so we we attempted the test online in Lahore, in the concerts itself. So like my second trip to Lahore was like around for twenty days. The first one was for a week. the fifth top 50 amp and then the, when all of the six people were selected they called us to the, the camp again they were like international teachers they hired international teachers to teach us and it was also fully funded the food everything living expenses everything funded uh by hec i guess and uh, are there any benefits to participating okay so first of all uh, one thing that I don't know why, but all of the students in Pakistan are very excited about is the certificate, and on the certificate it writes that you know you've participated in the. I mean, not for participating, I guess. Uh, uh, participating as in the first test, they do not give out the certificates of participation for the first test, but they do give out uh the certificates of top fifty selection, um after you're done with the test, and then they also give out. the certificate of being in the team that is the top 6 and then you again get a you know uh, uh, an international certificate which has an international credibility when you're in the team and you also have your name on their website forever when you're in the team mm-hmm. all of us none of us were excited about the certificates or anything all of us were like very very excited about the experience and of course the experience and then studying from foreign teachers as well uh it was also a big learning experience i learned a lot new things i had sessions with you know past olympiad people who had appeared in the past and that was also a learning experience and then living on your on your own is also a big learning experience so i think all all of these combined make it up for a very good package i'd say so i think go for it and coming uh, talking about the final examination the actual competition uh is the training that they provide sufficient enough for you to uh get familiar with the questions that they're going to ask or do you have to put in some effort yourself also to explore different avenues of study okay so um basically the training that the people provide is sufficient according to them but you know you know what kind of intellectual level you have and since you you are at that particular uh, stage of representing pakistan i think if you do not have self motivation you you wouldn't have been there at the first place so since you you are there it means you have some sort of motivation coming from inside of you and you have to use it meaning ke don't depend on what they teach they teach very well but don't depend on what they teach take initiatives yourself and self study self study is going to lead you to higher places I think the biggest combined... key takeaway that i took from you throughout uh, both the conversations is that you have to be motivated and willing to explore things yourself because only through that can you uh, will you build up uh, the muscle to get to the goal that you want because people can only do so much if you if it doesn't come from within then it's impossible yeah okay thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone got to learn something new from nirmeen today she mentioned some wonderful points and we're going to see you all in our next interview allah bless